Hey, everybody. Hey, how's it going? We're in Vegas. This is uh, Nightcap with the Yankee Guys. Vegas the live Cap. version. And we got Tate Litchfield here with us. Look at this. In the flesh. This is awesome. It's the Robles version. <laughs> Robles the version. wouldn't approve it. I wouldn't approve of the ropes. Actually, it is Vegas, so I don't think really <laughs> care that much. We're going to start this off. We always end with a toast, but we're going to start it off with a toast. Uh, to, uh, Here's to boot time. camp. Boot camp, education. Friends. All Friends. And Cheers. Land investing. And land investing. And land investing. Tate, we're glad to have you here. Thank you, guys. This is no, awesome. I, I can't. I mean, seriously, I'm excited. I'm You're nervous, nervous, are you? I'm a little nervous. I mean, we're kind of big, so we make people nervous, you know, they you come know, on the show with us. I want to keep the audience <laughs> happy. I don't want the viewers at all. So, no, I'm happy to be here. Plus, it's Vegas, my own boot camp. I gotta yeah, confess uh, that I like Tate. Tate is one of my mentors. This guy is awesome. How, how old are you, Tate? On oh, 28. 28. 28. Wise beyond his years. This guy is incredible. Um, he's an incredible he's coach in the community. land business. He's a uh, top coach uh, in, in the uh, land keep. Uh, yeah. He's incredible. And, and this, tell us what's going on with you this weekend. You're uh, oh. you're working in a special area. What's, yeah. what's going on? Me and Scott, Scott and I. You give me that all intro. <laughs> so I'm here with like bad grammar. <laughs> Scott, Scott. Scott, the famous Scott. Yeah, Scott Todd and I brought the heat. Let me just say it that way. We have a special VIP room, and it's exclusive. Space? Yeah, of course. What, what would you expect, right? It's exclusively for our coaching students. And so, what we're doing is we're doing these mini breakout sessions, and I think you sat in on a little bit of the yeah, last one. Yeah, it was great. Great. And we're taking topics that are common hurdles for all of our students, for everyone in the community. And we're solving those problems right here today. Yeah, yeah. Talk about execution, really, is what you say. Execution. I mean, this is a place where you come, there's no excuses accepted. We are action. Right. We're in there, and it's, you know, people are taking action. They're posting ads. They're they're hiring people. We're yeah. making it happen. And that's what makes boot camp so awesome. I'm curious, what do you think one of the biggest pain points for people starting out a business? I mean, you've been doing this for a long time now, and you know, you help a lot of people. What would you say is the biggest pain point initially that people run into, or, or a common, probably the biggest, or a very common pain point? You know, a common one I see is this fear, right? Like, people are afraid, and it's not afraid of failure. There's this fear of success. You know what I mean by that? Like, they're genuinely afraid that this business is going to work, right? right? And I don't know why that is. I mean, Maybe I'm not the right person to talk to, right, Mike? Because I've never had a real job. That's my confession. Like, <laughs> I've never, I had a real job. Right. I uh, graduated college. I took a job in the state of Nevada. I started on Monday. On Wednesday, I went in for my mid-week review. And I remember sitting across the table from my supervisor. And he just handed me my ID card. I said, hey, Tate, we go. We're so happy. How's everything going? I said, oh, you know, uh, supervisor. I don't remember his name. This just isn't going to work out. Right? It's not you, it's me. I put my two weeks in, and he said, Two weeks? We're waiting two weeks for you. don't even know what you're doing yet. I said, All right, I'm going to take a long lunch. And, yeah. uh, and here you are. Here I am. So it wasn't that I was afraid of success or anything like that, but I think a lot of people are nervous. So yeah. what happened? It's a big leap of faith. Uh, and uh, you got to leave. You gotta leave. You gotta... You've ever seen that video by Steve Harvey where uh, he talks about leaping? He's the he's a comedian. He's oh, the family okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, okay, YouTube the video. Uh, wait, bring it up to speed. Wait, wait, wait. Did he, Steve wasn't he the one who messed up Miss, Miss America or Miss Universe? Yes, he did. Okay. Actually, he messed up Miss Universe. He's either on me, right? Right, right, right. But let's hear the leaping story. Is there? Can you give us like the summary? I mean, uh, no, it's just. Uh, you don't live if you don't leap in life, right? You got to take chances. So there are going to be all these opportunities in your life. And uh, he's just talking about how you want to take these opportunities, take the bull by the horns, right? You don't want to have to look back and regret things uh, 20, 30, 40 years later. And uh, it's about having faith in that leap, right? Okay. You just got to like jump off the cliffside and just know that you're going to land okay. And, and there's going to be all these, all these support systems along the way that are going to help you get there. There's gonna be barriers, but you're gonna you're gonna get there. So, look it up sometime. It's it's a pretty cool video. He he uh, he does the leap segment segment. I'm told after every Family Feud broadcast, he, he talks to his audience. He comes out on stage oh, yeah. and talks to his audience and, and shares his little pep talk. talk I like that. Wow. So you gotta leap. You gotta leap. Yeah. Ah, there That's you awesome. go. That is awesome. <laughs> I can't. I can't really say too much about what's going on with VIP. Yeah, it's kind of top secret, right? Well, I mean, you know, if you're not 
you're not here, you're missing out. So, Orlando? No, what's next? Scottsdale. Scottsdale, Arizona. Yeah, if you want to know what, what's going on and how Scott might bring the heat, I mean, you got to be there. You got to be here because it's not something we record. It's not something, you know, it's. He wants to be sure that he's being filmed. I feel like I'm the camera. I'm the guest, and you're there. Really like, I'm all confused. No, no. no. He's not going to be there. You know, here's the reality. We have about. This is a big boot camp. How many people do you think we have here right now? Yeah, uh, 75. 75 yeah. people. So a lot of our viewers are in the other room right now. Yeah, exactly. That's why we only have four right now. But that's all right. Well, you, the four, four that are, are very special. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, throw some comments. Please. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to leave. I was already nervous about this. These guys were like, please, please, please. I, know, I just told my family about this back home. Like, yeah, you know, I'm watch this live show. And they're like, oh, yeah, I'm like, that's great. You got four people watching. Yeah. And we're three of them. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> ben, if you're watching, shout out to my son Ben. He, he was planning on watching. So, oh, yeah. Roberto. All right, nice. Roberto Chavez. Nice, Roberto. Roberto Chavez. Yes. Yeah. He he's done really well in yeah. land investing. He started in like October, and he's he's already doing deals. He's buying properties. Roberto, somewhere. any questions for your coach while we're here? We've got yeah, him right here. Let's get him live. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> We got another guest waiting. We got another guest waiting. Just oh, like yeah. that, I'm out. No, I'm not trying to do this. No, look at me already. That's how it works. Oh, he goes. One guy in, one yeah, guy out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a lot of guests. We got a lot of guests. We got to bring this. Maybe he's like, we got to get this tape guy out of here. Yeah, maybe if I'm, you know, if I do well and the viewers approve, maybe I can come back someday. We're going to have a whole segment because we'd like to do you complete. We want to do a quick you complete. We want to do a quick. We have a segment on <laughs> the uh, on, on the night. This is a real segment. This is a real segment. It's called You Complete Me. So I'm basically. Let me give you an example, Scott. You go first. But no, no, we're just going to jump in. No, it's real simple. Basically, I say something and you finish it. All right. So, okay, uh, okay. you know, um, it'd be something like this. Uh, T, you know, I'm, I'm maybe I'm someone that I'm going to play the role of someone that is going to be buying land from you. Got it. T, I don't really know you that well. So, how do I know I can trust you when I'm going to meet you in person? What, how, what can, what, tell me how I can trust you. Listen, let's make it easy for you. You want to FaceTime? Yeah, absolutely. Right, let's jump on FaceTime real quick. And once we're on FaceTime, I'm going to walk you through the entire closing process. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the closing process. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so you are 100% confident in doing business with me. Nice. And if you want, I'll, that approach. I'll give you my mom's number, too. <laughs> <laughs> She'll tell you, she'll bad for me. So. Oh, look at this. Danielle. <laughs> Daniel, yeah. how, how's Tate doing on his first Happy birthday? It's his birthday. Oh, birthday yesterday. yesterday. Happy yeah. birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, nobody wants to hear that. Come on. I'm a good singer. Too much. Too much. Too much. That's too much. Daniel, yeah, I'm sorry. Are, people are falling we just off. Lost, yeah, right. <laughs> we just lost three viewers. <laughs> Tate, thank you for playing. Thank you, you guys. Me. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, Tate. All Maybe right. I'll be back yeah. sometime. You will. Yeah, guys. <laughs> All right. All right, Mike. That yeah, was fun, huh? That was pretty good. Tate Litchfield on our show, yeah, live right. in Vegas. So people, that people may people don't realize how big a deal Tate is. I mean, he's the. I thought you guys have big deal. We got <laughs> yeah, Tate as well. People realize how big a deal. I mean, look at the viewers. Ten, <laughs> ten viewers. We are rolling. We are rolling. Oh, here we so, go. Oh, no, right. hey, you know what? I have to say, I have to Thank say you. one thing. This is the first time we've been on camera together. All right. Usually so, we're virtually uh, meeting. Yeah, right. You're in Boston. I'm in Wisconsin. Can I say one thing in person? You're a lot taller. A lot taller in person. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> the, camera, the camera does not do you justice. Oh, either. look. I think we have so. a oh, – what not do we justice? We have another guest rolling in here. Yeah, this Who guy. Who do we have? Who do we have? Uh, Eric this Peterson. This is Eric No Nickname Peterson. How you Tell doing, Eric? fan. Cubs, I, I don't really follow sports, so I'll go with the Cubs. Oh, sorry, all you they're, Boston they're people. My brother, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Uh, so listen, we, we're bumping up here. we got about uh, 10 viewers so far, right? right. We're live in Vegas. So <clears throat> let us know what you love most about Bootcamp. Tell the viewers, what, what's your favorite? So I love seeing us. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's awesome to see everybody, but I think ultimately um, at this point for me, it's just about connections and, and kind of getting to know everybody. Um, awesome. Students awesome. Awesome. the business. I mean, it's it's really enjoyable. North's story is great. Like just the the testimonials oh, yeah. from people, you know, from.
people hearing think about what people are doing, yeah. the kind of deals they're doing, the success they're having. Yeah. People have stuff. been doing it for three years versus three months. I mean, you know, there's yeah. success stories for these people that are just and, starting out. And honestly, the, the troubles they're having too in, in talking about ways to solve those things. Right. We would ask and Tate, and I'd like to ask you, what do you think some of the biggest pain points people have initially in the business? You start working with a new uh, coaching, you know, client, somebody you're working with, what's a common pain point that you run into? Probably marketing, I think, is pretty high up there for a lot of people. Okay. You know, how do you get the ads out? How do you deal with the leads? Right. Um, all those pieces. That you have. Yeah. yeah. I think we see a lot of people, people buy property and then they kind of sit on it. And uh, don't move it. So, whether that's, uh, I don't know, for me personally, a couple of years ago, it was difficult. I no business background, so getting on the phone and talking to people about my property. That just, yeah, a lot of people know, have an issue just talking on the phone. phone. Yeah. Yeah, and I think consistency in the marketing, too, right? I mean, we see it all the time. People put out a couple of ads or maybe a couple of ads a week and they expect that you know, they're going to make sales that way. It takes a lot of ads. every day. Showing up every day, yep. being everywhere. Well, sure. I we got a question here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on Eric. It's great. Have you seen the You Complete Me uh, uh, portion of my show? <laughs> All right. Well, Roberto yeah. Chavez has a You Complete Me. He'd like me to be. Would you Would you be willing to entertain it? I'll try. All right, Roberto. We're gonna put Eric on with that one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. All right, guys. You Complete Me. Potential seller says, "Hey." How'd you come up with the offer you're making me? Seems pretty low. What should I say? So I, I, you, you made an offer to me. I'm thinking it's kind of low. How would you come back at me with that? Any thoughts? Complete me. All right. So at that point, I, I really uh, I begin to explain that, that I'm a land seller. I buy and sell land. I'm, I can't you know, pay retail value for the property. I'm in the business of buying and selling. Um, but what I can offer you is a, a quick sale. You know, you'll have cash as, as soon as a week if, if you need to move that fast, but you know, typically it might be a couple weeks. And uh, that's that's why you're getting this low offer. Yeah, I think that's great. I think the ease of the transactions. Like we, what we bring to the equation is there's no real estate people involved. This is a very easy transaction. It's so simple. The money comes quickly to that. And you prepare all the docs. Yeah, we take care of everything. everything. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good, huh, Roberto? Good, an good answer. Oh, and the comments are flying in here. Wow. Eric, we thank you for joining us. Cheers. Cheers. Eric Peterson, guys, let's give it up. Oh, look at this. The viewers, they skyrocketed. <laughs> <laughs> you need a yump sign. Look at this, Roberto <laughs> Chavez. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> you completed me. That's what Roberto says. Uh, you did it. You did it. Okay. All right. All right. We've got, we got a pretty special guest coming up here. All right, now yeah, i got to make room. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys. Next Thanks, up, sir. we do have a special guest. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go with the Jeff. Jeff come on in. All right, Jeff, come on in. How are you, Jeff? Good. How you doing? Good. Jeff, how are you? Thanks doing for coming good. in. This is Jeff Detmer, currently uh, in coaching, correct? Yep. yep. So, what, what's your experience been with the? How many boot camps have you been to so far? Three. 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 Yes. Why do you keep coming to the boot camp? Why, 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 why keep coming back? Why stop learning? Yeah. I mean, every, every time you pick up something new, right? Um, more than once on I mean, it's yeah. just, I don't even know what time it is, but it's Friday. It's the first day, and I've already gotten a whole bunch. Right. Out of it. We've got another day and a half to go. Yeah. So, it's yes. awesome. It's good. And it's tell, awesome. us, tell us a little bit about, without giving too much away, tell us a little bit about the VIP room and your experience in there. Because uh, it's special for our coaching students. You know, it really is. Um, everyone in there is is not just a beginner, they've all done, uh, they've done deals, um, and there's a lot of experience in that room, so there's a lot of things to learn, but what's interesting is that the my pain point is different from the person next to this pain point. Whatever their point, pain point is, is something that's a piece of cake for me. Right. And so as topics come up and as go around the room, it's just very interesting because Everyone's in a different place, and I don't know. It just makes it easier to so perspective. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, then you can feed off each other. That's yeah. something you got know, strengths and so weaknesses and so on and so forth. You can you can help each other. It's, it's as they say, the collective intelligence group. Exactly. Okay. You're not alone. You're what was your biggest pain point starting? What was the what was your biggest hurdle so far? What, what is it been? 
tough to identify? Or well, it is <laughs> because my biggest pain point this week is different than it was three weeks ago yeah, or, or, or eight weeks ago. Right. So, in the first, first month of this year, um, drinking from a fire hose. Yeah, right. Drinking from a fire Well, I, I didn't, I took right into coaching. Okay. So, I, I had coaching and flight school and the toolkit, like all at the same time. Yes, you have a lot of information. And then I went to my first boot camp that three weeks later. So, so it was that was the biggest challenge for me. Um, was that but I um, I made it my full time job because I already have enough passive income before I got into the land business. So I'm jobless, and so this was my job. So this is what I'm doing. So you just had Tate in here. How is it working with Tate? Tate's amazing. If I knew they were going to be doing this, I would have. I would have wanted my, my Tate on sign. Team Tate all the way. Is it? I, I, I made Tate on signs and brought them with me. Um, but I would have brought that over here if I knew what we were doing. But he holds your feet to the fire, though. Oh, he does. Yeah. He, 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 Make sure you execute. He's. I don't know what he is. Fifteen years younger than me, but he is so wise beyond his years. He has so much experience, and his, know, just his poise is, is just amazing for his age. And this is the second time in my career that I've had a coach that was basically that much younger than me. And, and in both situations, it was the same thing. And some people get hung up on age, I certainly don't. But he's amazing. He knows his business inside and out. And just when I think I have something figured out, he asked me a question that is a real head scratcher. <laughs> and really makes me think. And that's what a coach is supposed to do, right? Exactly. If you have him working with you for an entire year, think of where you're going to be at. Right? Oh, I know. I know. I mean, I'm not halfway through this now. It is, it's amazing where, where I've come well, already. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm so proud of this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that was awesome. That was awesome. Well, I think we're going to bring on a really special guest right now. The this most is, important guest. I like to call him the godfather of the Yankee community, but that's because I love old school movies. There he is. <laughs> the man Bob the man. Manolsky, how are you? Yeah. 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 Here he well, is. Boys. This is the land geek, okay? So <laughs> wow. this is why we're here right here. This guy. Oh, Karen so says, look, you got you got Karen Axwell, you guys working out? You look so <laughs> shredded. shredded. How, yeah. how do you know? <laughs> Absolutely. How's it going? Uh, okay. I'll tell you what, first day was uh, you know, every boot camp somebody closes a deal. Yes. Yeah. Jeff Denver closed a deal. Yes. And uh, Shannon Schaefer bought the first. Yes, uh, yes. Um, Doug Cole closed the deal this morning. Doug Cole closed the deal this morning. Boot camp energy kind of. No. Yeah, I want the boot camp energy seat again. And uh, it's amazing. Scott Todd was too. Scott Todd, big deal. But, yeah. yeah. It's, so it's, it's, it's like an hourly occurrence for him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's still, <laughs> So great, and uh, you know the, our our community is by the best community, right? Right. We're just a bunch of very nice, smart, just awesome people, all with a single-minded to the purpose of getting out of so like an opportunity, working when they want, where they want, who they want, and a purpose of doing it that's bigger than themselves. And no one in this room is like, oh, I want to be a billionaire. Right. right, just to make money. It's it's really to do something bigger and purposeful. It's amazing to be a part of it. Yeah. So I I humble that that just you know there's 80 people here. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I think Mike and I are humbled and honored to be able to be doing, I doing what we're doing. Yes, in this silly capacity. Right. <laughs> but honestly, uh, the, the comments we get week to week, you know, like. You may be goofy like on our Facebook show, but people appreciate the content. Like Happy birthday, Daniel! Happy birthday, Daniel! Oh, look at this! Yes. Roberto Chavez, new close deal today. Close the deal today. I love it. How are the numbers for today? Yeah, Roberto, let's see about the numbers. 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 Yeah,
Mark, we have a sec uh, segment called Who Can Rule the Would you indulge me? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to rule them? <laughs> Mark, this is, the, this is a normal moment. So it was part of the, I, I caught you up, guys. So I'm worried that I'm going to get into this, but there's so many other people down here. I'm worried that there's going to be a lot of competition. So is that a big threat? I'm just worried that there's so many people coming in. Are we going to take up all the land? Yeah, so the reality is that there are billions of acres of land, and there's only a few people, relatively you know, small people, doing this. Okay. So, yeah, when you're in a group like this, it seems like everyone's doing this. Right. But when you look at the size of the market, let's, let's just take a real meeting, real estate investment meeting. Okay. 100 people in that room. 99 of them are wholesalers, house flippers, or managers. You and I are really managers. We will all run out of money before we run out of the And I even told my wife, because she's like, why do you teach people that I do this? Why don't you get a trade on competition? Well, since I've been teaching this, my business has really gone up. All our businesses have really gone up. I mean, there's plenty for everything. Is this what you call a scarcity mentality? That is scarcity mentality. Now, in some markets, it's, it's just reality, but not in this market. You're not going to go to the DIY network, each of TV, and flip this thing. Right. We shut the paper. Forgettable three dollars, as Mike said. Boring serves us well. Boring is a boring match. You go to a party and tell me my land for you, and you're going to say, that's nice, you go all the way. But there's no other questions. Oh, let's see. The bird is at close field today. Oh, let's go. John Montero. John Montero. Missing out on all the wisdom. Well, come to the next one. What the next one? If I could make this weekend, when can I see you again? When can I come in? So this is the next weekend to be in August in Scottsdale. This is the land of that place. Four slash weekend. Oh, God. By the way, flight school is coming up. Well, it's 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 it. It's, if you have not booked a call with Mike or Scott, go to landing.com, forward slash training, book a call, and learn more about flight school and, uh, and how we can help you execute in real time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. We love you. Oh, this, is the yeah. this is the land geek. Land geek. Let's hear it! Uh, <laughs> I got a peek at him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man. Thanks for being on. Awesome. 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 See, we know people. We know people. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. First time we've had Mark on. <laughs> yeah. Do you want him? Yeah. Well, look at this. Whoa. Next on our show, coming in live. Oh, okay. We're gonna. You want to close it up with us? You want to be yeah, the guest? Yeah, Captain Cool. Sarah, 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 come on in. Hi. Welcome. Hey, How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. How's how's boot camp? You don't have your drink. That's all right. How's boot camp? Boot camp's great. Yeah. Learn a lot. Get a lot of questions answered. You've been a boot camp before. I have not. So yeah. I have first time. time. So I'm kind of like, yeah, this is my first time. Oh, I really can't wait for Scottsdale next. So I can get any of you. So what's your first uh, impression oh, of a boot camp? First time. What's your thoughts? Day one. Day one. It's just really great. It's all awesome. 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 He's no larger. He's no. He's not larger than life. Do you watch that? I watch the replay. replay. Yeah. We're, we're big on replay. We're on YouTube. Hey, it's like six o'clock your time. We're pretty huge on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. I think we got one comment on YouTube. We've had a comment. Yeah, we have. We're gonna build up that YouTube rating. Yeah, Mark has a great YouTube channel. Right? Yes. It's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. So Mark throws so all his content out there. That's one of the reasons I love Mark, right? Like, there's so much content coming from yeah, all the time. Yes. He's very, you're really very uh, What's some of the early we yeah. hope to yeah. come with them? Is it not a knowledge wise? What's your goal for the weekend? Do you have any? Yes, yeah, so high school needs to do everything you can know. And then you go through promotions a few times. And you're like, oh, something happened, and now I have this question. And you know, you can put it out to the community and some people will give you like a one word answer, one sentence answer. And like here, you can be like, all right, I have this problem, here's my question. And then you get like all these people to answer. Yeah. And you're like, wow, that's really valuable. Everybody's here. Yeah, yeah it's right. such a, I mean, it's a community, right? Yeah. We want to see you succeed. Uh, 
we have no magical <laughs> powers. We're all just individuals with a burning desire to change. Exactly. It just comes out of the action. I mean, in flight school, Scott gives you all the tools that you need to just gotta take action on. If you take action on, you're going to be successful. I mean, is that what Sarah was just saying? Like Sarah was saying that, uh, I mean, Sarah had a great story. She, she's done needles and, and she's, she's happy. I don't even know what she had to say to you guys, but I think she's happy. I think that uh, she's doing it, and I think that's what it comes down to. I got it. You know, this came up where I, really, I was talking to a uh, person, and this is a great kind of thought of you. This person was posting on Facebook, and I'm posting on Craigslist for three months and just getting tie kicker after tie kicker after tie kicker. It came worn down and worn down, and eventually had a number of sales within one week, but it took three months. So, you talk about that, that, that kind of perseverance it takes to, to really make a sale. You know, just, you know, I don't want to post ads, but it seems difficult. You know? This perseverance, you talk about what it takes to really get in the groove and make those sales. You know, we, I think like we live in an instant gratification society. We, we all want to like post an ad and then have somebody come off right away and buy the property. And that's just not what happens. I think you have to build a pipeline of ads, a pipeline of buyers. Right. And the only way that you can do that is to continue to post every day, even though you're not seeing the results. Because a lot of times the results will come, you know, two, three, four, six weeks later. Right. And you've got to show up every day now. And you really have to stop thinking about that instant gratification. Like, I've got to make the sale today. You really need to think about, um, you know, okay, I'm going to plant this seed. I'm going to come back. But this thing will harvest at some time. Or it may not. Like, I mean, there's many ads that, that we write that I never get a response to. Like, I don't know, we, we wrote an ad that I, I, uh, I thought it was really, really comical. And it said, uh, the headline said, um, we posted in Vegas, and it said, uh, uh, 40 acres, must sell, girlfriend, pregnant, wife knows. <laughs> oh, no. And I thought, like, man, for sure Vegas, man. Like, Vegas, we picked that up in one room, you know, best of critics list. Nothing crickets, right? Like, no, no responses. I even put in there, like, okay, just kidding. You know, that you have the land, I have a girlfriend, you know. Uh, so I had to back it up, but you know sometimes these things are going to be hits, and sometimes they're going to be flops. Just the way it works. I get to know that Boston talk. Okay, <laughs> go ahead, Scott Boston. We're being told to talk. Oh no, no, no. Uh, we're having a lot of fun here. You can't wait. It, it's great to come back time after time to visit with you guys, and even now, a couple years into this, I mean, I, I have to take away all the time. I mean, you probably have takeaways every time. Right. I mean, whether it's a great story or a geeky tool or whatever, I, I think it's just a, it's an amazing yeah, weekend. Yeah, absolutely. For me, you know, I always tell people my first aha moment was when I bought and sold my first property with the investor toolkit. And my second aha moment was meeting Mark and you at the Vegas boot camp a couple years ago and, and hearing all the stories there from everybody else. We were in the tower. We were in the tower. Yeah. yeah. So, it's it's, it's, it's uh, funny because you don't realize uh, how how fast time passes, right? And I think that you know we, we all want to, to make these changes um, to our lives. And you know you've done you've done uh, you've done great. You know you, you started off like why you started off with some basic income, and you just followed the, the system. And, I will tell you, you know, like I, I did your first magic over here. And I at one point, you just looked like you were, you were like not buying it. <laughs> I was just nervous as all. Your wife is like, I believe that she was all in, and and you did it. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you've done it, and you know, again, if you can do it, and exactly. you can do it, like, we all can do it. We just need to like break the break the chains and do the work. Take the lead. That's all I'm saying. Well, we, we have a segment called You Completely. Have you seen that one? Uh, <laughs> did you do you have a You Completely one? Did you get the one? Or do you want to? Oh, I think you're good. You, you, you're going to roll with the You Completely. <laughs> so basically, it's a thought, a question, a concept, and you just kind of finish it, okay? So I, I would say, Scott, I've never done any kind of investing. In fact, I'm not even a realtor. I'm worried that I won't. This business is not for me. And I would say that if you have the desire, 
to make a change in your life, you can pick them up. That's perfect. Thank you for coming on our show. Thank you for being the end cap to the night cap. I cannot believe that I got my He's here. He's live. This is really Scott Todd. This is him. I'm like, but I got to go now. They're like, no, 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 no. You get to go last. And I'm like, you're for the toast. After Mark? I'm like, I love this. This is my favorite show. Maybe that's why I'm here. Like, <laughs> am I the only guest that's been on here twice? You are. Yeah, that would be the same. You're like the SNL guest. I, I love that. I love it. Count me in. No agent required. This is awesome. awesome. Thank you so much, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I got to leave. Right. No, no, that's it. We're going to have a final toast. Scott, bring the toast up. All right. So uh, here's to good friends uh, and creating financial and time freedom together. Cheers. Cheers to home. Thanks, guys.